It's all connected. 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 October 5th, 2020. How the heck y'all doing out there? Um, I am here with my lovely co-host, Miss Circle Low. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. How you doing? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> All right. So uh, winter is coming, man. Winter is coming. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so for anybody out there listening that's not here in the chat, listening later on a blog cast or a podcast, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, feel free, come on over to reallibertymedia.com and jump on into the chat, or you can do that through rlmradio.xyz and uh, talk to the wonderful people that are here and argue about nonsense, because we're really good at nonsense over here on Real Liberty Media. Um, <laughs> some Especially unimported nonsense. Yeah, as opposed yeah. to that important nonsense. Um, the very important nonsense. Right? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like, like, which one is number two after pistachio ice cream as the best ice cream? Right? Oh, pistachio. All right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> today's program is called "Tolerance Is Self Harm." Uh, this is episode twelve of the It's All Connected program, but only episode six. With circle or four with circle? I, I forget. Oh wow! If you forget, then it's lost to the world. Yeah, it's out there somewhere. I, I, I could look it up, I have but no then idea. that that would take effort, and I, I don't want to. See, Rob, Rob is on the right team. Okay. Right? Yeah, great. The pistachio. I, yeah. I, li I like I like vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite. French oh. French vanilla. Yeah. You're you're a weirdo. I know, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've accepted that about you a long time ago. Well as I, opposed to being as opposed to tolerating it in you, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I get, I have accepted it about you. That you're a weirdo. Okay, good. Then then yeah. and we still get along great, so you must, yeah. you must like weirdos. Not all weirdos, but I like you. Okay, <laughs> that's really that's really all that's important. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh God. Okay, so uh, we're dealing with tolerance today. Tolerance. Um, now I have some definitions that you provided me uh, on on tolerance and what tolerance actually is. Um, yeah. Uh, this one here, the first one, is from MiriamWebster.com, uh, and it says it's a capacity to endure pain or hardship. I, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, I, I guess having the capacity to is great, but unnecessarily enduring pain or hardship, which I think is closer. Um, it's not something to strive for, is it? Really? I, I would think not. No. Um, anyway, under that first definition, they have a couple of sub-definitions, uh, which uh, is sympathy or indulgence for beliefs or practices differing from or conflicting with one's own, or the act of allowing something, <laughs> which, okay, <laughs> whatever that means. All right, uh, the, 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 next, the next definition here. The allowable deviation from the standard. Well, I've never been really big on standards yeah. in the first place, so. Okay, um, maybe I am tolerating your weirdness. It's an allowable <laughs> deviation from the standard, Grimner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it goes on to say the capacity of the body to endure or become less responsive to a substance, such as a drug, or physiological insult, especially with repeated use or exposure. Well, that's a different kind of tolerance now, ain't it? That's the tolerance yeah. you build up over time uh, when um, 
doing, uh, partaking in a particular substance. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, or, which is, or when you've just been fed bullshit by a bunch of people who are trying to rule you for a long time. Right, right, right. And you just right. build up a tolerance and you go, eh. Right. I can endure this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we'll move on to the. Uh, yeah. At what? How do you say this? Atomanon line. <laughs> basically <laughs> etymology. Um, okay, so tolerance uh, is a noun which was, came around in the early 15th century. Endurance, fortitude in the face of pain, hardship, etc. From the old French tolerance, uh, from Latin tolerantia. Well, not a tarantula, it's a tolerantia, <laughs> a bearing supporting endurance from tolerance, uh, present participle of tolerar, to bear, endure, tolerate, uh, of individuals with a sense of a tendency to be free from bigotry or severity in judging others from 1765, meaning allowable amount of variation, uh, dates from 1868, and the physiological sense of Ability to take large doses. Now, I know we have uh, plenty of folk here in the RLM chat that are, have the ability to take large doses of certain <laughs> things. <laughs> they, but maybe not, uh, not, not large doses of bullshit. Uh, no. Which, which, no. Which, which I think is generally the, uh, the, the, the accepted uh, usage of the word tolerance today is you must tolerate these people. Um, oh yeah, which I tend to disagree with. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> if you totally disagree with somebody's view or opinion on something, I, I you know, you can express that freely. Is my view on it um, that you know, no, I don't. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like. I don't like this thing here. Um, as long as it stays within the realm of uh, civil discourse, of course. And not yeah. not where you say, I don't like you, so I'm going to bash your head in. Well, I, that's too far. <laughs> yeah. But would you say that of all those words you just read, in there, there's, you know, that sounds like a great state to be in? To be a tolerant human being? Uh, to a degree, you know... Um, because to me, that all we just read was a whole lot of self harm, though. It is a lot of self harm, and it, it's not just self harm, but it it harms everybody. Um, yeah, is is my view on it. Like all these people that uh, accept like the idea, the concept of voting, and thinking that's a good thing when it actually causes harm to everyone. Yeah, Be, because what you're doing when you're out there doing your voting. Um, and and you you know other folks say all right well you want to go vote you go vote, uh, but 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 um, when you do you're 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 taking your views and opinions and using somebody out there with a big hammer or a bunch of guns uh, to force whatever your views are assuming you're in the majority uh, if democracy actually works via voting which I don't believe it does um, then but you're you're saying. My view is so important that I want somebody with guns to come and, and, and force you to do what I do or to kill you one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So, But you know what? You know what? I don't need, because I, I find it, to be honest, I find that whole thing about voting and dominating others, I think everybody knows that. I find that despicable, right? I find the whole idea and the whole discourse of it deeply despicable. But I still accepted it. I don't think I'm in to I don't think I'm tolerating it as a fact of life. Cuz it is a fact of life. It is, yes. So I um I've accepted it. Which means that um I can love people who particip who participate in that. I'm still able cuz I have, I've like, I've accepted that I I have people in my life that I love dearly. And for some reason, they participate in what I think is one of the most violent things that there is. They know how I feel about it, right? But I, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm completely accepted that that's how they feel and that's what they do. 
Sure. I think, you know, most people, um, they either don't actually realize that the, that the act of voting is violence or they think that, that <laughs> what, whatever their way is should be the way that everybody else is. Yeah. And, and you should tolerate it. <laughs> and if you don't, yeah. then, then there's something wrong with you because yeah. – over half, uh, typically, uh, uh, of the people that actually took the uh, initiative to go out there and cast a vote, um, which is generally, I don't know how it is over there in, in Denmark, but here in the U.S., it's half of the people that vote means that there's about, uh, they, they say that this, that, uh, whatever, 50% of the eligible voters which to be an eligible voter, you got to meet all these various qualifications, but it's pretty much everybody um, with a few exceptions over a certain age that gets to go out there and, and, and tell everybody else what to do. If, if they can gather, you know, more than half of the people to their cause, half of the people that are voting to their cause. So it, it winds up being about um, less than a quarter of the of the actual people uh, go out there uh, and say this is what everybody else gets. This is what everybody else has to obey. Yeah. Uh, and this is now now I'm because this is how I see it, Gribner. It's the beast got it's such a big beast, right? Nobody is riding this beast. So it doesn't matter who you're going to vote in; they're not going to get to the reins of the beast. No, no. And also, so you, I mean, if you've been voting or just paying attention to the votes for any amount of time, um, and you look at what these these people that are trying to become your, quote, leaders, end quote, um, uh, say, and then what they actually do, there, there's, there's no likeness whatsoever. They say they're going to do A, B, and C, and instead they do X, Y, and Z. Uh, and and so yes. you you think they're your representatives, and uh, yeah, they're not representing you in any way. And they're and really, they're none of them disagrees about the important stuff. Oh no no no! It's it's like ninety percent of, of the everything they agree on, which is growing the state, going to wars, raising your taxes, uh, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. they agree on all that, but they have a few little key issues they can tweak people with, uh, you know, and depending on where you are, that's going to vary. But, you know, here in the U.S., of course, it's uh, things like abortion or um, uh, other things that, that people get Not really... Not abortion in Denmark, I promise you. <laughs> that's like so far out to consider that. Oh, well, it, it's huge here, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a, you know yeah. always a key issue that they always bring up again. Um, just, yeah. just, just just there's just certain things like that that they uh, uh, like to mess you with. Yeah, mess with you with. <laughs> mess you with you with. <laughs> because they're they're not that different, right? They they agree on very key areas. Oh yeah, sure. like. Like there will never be a, a president candidate or a prime minister candidate that says I don't believe in taxing. I think we should just make once and for all make it illegal to steal, right? You should absolutely, and stealing is pretty much covers everything, as Grammy always says. Yeah, you know it's a uh, uh, theft is. But is, that, that that would be considered way radical, almost like um a, um like a terrorism, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be like, because I know in Denmark, that would be considered terrorism to say that. To to say that there's no more theft allowed? Yeah. It, well, because, well, because the consequences of it, right, would be that you would have to, that you would be against, um, you would be an enemy of the state if you really wanted to do that law. Well, I, I consider myself an enemy of the state. Yeah. I, you know, I've, I've I've thought that for a long if time. If you be, if you had a following though, the, uh, all of states kind of three letter agencies of all sorts of nasty little hobbits would be coming going for you in your little hobbit hole, Grimnir. Yeah, but I, I don't want to. I don't want. I, 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 I,
I don't want a following. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't like. <laughs> I don't. No. So the only reason why it's 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 okay for you to say, uh, let's just make all vo- all stealing illegal, right? Let's just once and for all say it's not okay to steal. Right. The only reason why that's not a terrorist statement or 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 a threat to some is because only few people listen. Yeah, because no, nobody cares what I have to say. <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. If so, if a lot of people cared, that would be a crime. Right, right, yeah. Well, I mean, once yeah, once you become popular, then you're a target. Yeah, but that's that's the we see that's how how pivoted, how um how do you say how screwed pivoted this world is, right? That to act to say something as um I don't know clear and in my mind <laughs> very logic, which is don't steal. Don't steal. Don't steal. Uh, that will be um. <laughs> That would that would be very controversial. Yeah, yeah. Rob works. I, I think um, I think Mark Twain said that if, if voting mm-hmm. was if voting actually fixed anything or was effective, it would be illegal. I could be wrong about who said it, but somebody like that. <laughs> well, in truth, well, we covered this last time though. But voting fixes everything, and voting really matters because voting is is. It's the smoke screen and the system that keeps all this going. If everybody stopped voting and participating in this nonsense and instead sat around in a park, talked to each other and smoked a spliff instead of voting. Yeah. Oh, it was Emma well, Goldman. All right, thanks. Yeah. So I'm going to go voting changed everything. The more we vote, the more faith we put in this, the more bigger we think we can control this, right. the bigger the beast is growing. Okay, but take, uh, for example, um, something like a monarchy, a true monarchy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. There was no voting going on, but... Yeah, but uh, no. Whoever the... What, the... what happened? And then what happened? Uh, I guess it depends on which monarchy. Oh, well... Um... If you look far enough, and if time expands, or if time goes on, then what happens usually is if the king is a dickhead, the people chop off his head and burn down his castle. Yeah. That's usually what happens. Well, that that's effective. <laughs> I didn't say that, but that's what's going to happen. Well, but uh, but then if um, unless they demolish the monarchy, then whoever the next one in line is just takes his place, right? If you accept that, well, again, I mean, we really truly are back to the whole idea about being dominant and rulers is that they have no choices. They are they are relying on submissive people to submit. Right. So so if you have a dominant submissive relationship, the true of the power discourse in that is that the submissive have the power. Well, the dominant is going to convince you that the submissive don't have the power. They're going to do everything that there is to show you that you don't have any power, but you do. You have all the power. But don't the submissive tend to agree uh, with with the dominant, regardless? Yeah, but at some point, this is that's what that's what history shows me. At some point, the more raw the tyranny gets. The more the submissive suddenly all of a sudden at some point remembers, hey, wait, <laughs> we're like hundreds of millions of people. What the fuck? Why are we just sitting here? Right? Right. Well, what if at the, some uh... point it's going to tip. But now you got voting. So now you got this false, you know, uh, scene change and smoke screen and little gears on the stage. And, and uh, you got a year of campaigning. And a year of settling in afterwards. So basically, you you got a lot of theater on the front end of the stage for a lot of that time. And nobody's really giving a fuck about what's behind it. Right. And there is, in that, that, that charade or that theater is what makes all those um, 
hundreds of millions of people, the submissive ones, think, well, I'm not really being dominated. I'm, I see we got all this change. I can just, and it's just for three years and we better start. And then all this bullshit action that is, eh, it's just movement. It's not progress, right? Yeah, well, then you have to define what's progress, too, right? Because, <laughs> yeah. well, maybe what may, some people may see as progress, um, uh, other others see as destructive. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, you take 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 all this uh, uh, anti and Black Lives Matter nonsense going on. Um, they they say that as progressive somehow, which I, I see it as absolutely destructive. Well then, can then we can say beneficially growth, okay? <laughs> All right. So let's just look at the beneficial growth, and we could start with the bare necessities, which makes up a uh, good life for humans and animals on planet Earth, which would be, I would say, a common sort of that should be a common goal for most people, right? You would think, but. Yeah. I mean that's yeah. that's only within your 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 local geographical area, because I mean uh, we think that these you know a lot of this stuff should be uh, just available to everybody, you know food, water, shelter, uh, clothing, whatever uh, the, the kind of things you need to actually survive in the world and and for us people in in first world countries as they call them. Um, it's it's simple, but for for those folks out there in in uh, third world countries, that that's a lot more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. And but and, which, and so which is what I'm saying that if we just take away whatever is progress or not and all that, and we just at least say okay, let's try to measure um, the last fifty years. Uh, out from a, a growth, you know, the growth of beneficiary stuff in the world, right? Yeah. The beneficial growth. Let's try to say that. What happened to that on the planet the last 50 years, right? And a lot of people, you can argue this with a lot of people, and people will say, well, we brought more and more food to the third world countries and we're depleting a lot less because we're using a lot more GMO and, and efficient and artificial ways of making food. I'm going to say that's not benefiting to the overall growth of the planet as an organism, right? No, that, no. That, wouldn't, that wouldn't be mutual beneficiary for the whole planet. Right. And so if I look at, at 50 years, I don't see how this more and more centralized world that seems to be brought about with every election cycle more and more for as long as I, you know, let's just go 50 years. I don't see how any of that would. Um, I don't see how you can look at that and go, wow, this is helping humanity grow <laughs> in a beneficial way. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's uh, and especially they. I mean, as you mentioned, a lot of these uh, what what they're saying are these miracle things. They can grow all this GMO. Artificial. F- they they can grow all this GMO crap and and feed it to the people so the people don't starve. But what else? What is that GMO stuff doing to them? Because there's a lot of side effects from uh, modifying genetically modifying uh, the foods. Uh, and what is it doing to the overall planet? Because really, if if you go back to, and this is this is the whole thing, um, we're all here, though, right? Yeah. And and we're all, and it's not like, oh, what are we going to leave uh, behind for Keith Richards, right? It's not about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> or our, or your <laughs> oh, I, was to, I was trying to work. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how we work Keith Richards into this, but <laughs> well, that's because you got to start thinking about the world you're gonna, the planet you're gonna leave behind for Keith Richardson, right? Um, well, he's 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 old. <laughs> well, he's the one who's gonna outlive everything for folks. <laughs> well, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we need to be conscious about what we're gonna leave behind for him. But it's not even about that. It's about my quality of life right here, new or or now, right? 
I'm not even going to tell you to start worrying about the habitat you live in because of the future generations or anything like that, but because of your own. <laughs> you're, you're, we're living here. Right, we are. And and whatever you're going to get out of life is is uh, related to the quality of the planet and the the stuff that is around you to the water that you swim in. Okay. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, yeah, I mean, yes, but it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 well, run run that past me again. I. Uh, <laughs> you didn't come. You couldn't connect Keith Richardson to the food you and the water you swim in, Grimnir, really? Uh, uh, you're talking about Keith Richards, right? Not Richardson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the guy from Rolling Stones yeah, yeah, with Keith the leather Richardson. face, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the cure to all the viruses, too. He probably is. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, we got it. <laughs> well, um,. No, what I'm saying is that you you yourself are not just some um, spirit disconnected from the physical realm you live in. The the quality of whatever is around you, the quality of the food you eat and the air you breathe and the soil you stand on and the water you drink and everything and the, the, the everything that is around you is is part of your spiritual and cognitive and mind being too, right? It's all fucking connected. It, it is all connected. Um, yes. And it, it, all of those things, all these environmental various things matter while you're here in your meat suit. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, will matter to uh, future people when when they're yeah. pushed into their meat suits and have to live through this. Yeah. And what I don't get is, and we're back to this because. People know this, right? They feel it, right? Some we all do. feel it that when we eat, yeah, well, we should, okay, if we try to eat something that isn't poison, we slowly figure out, okay, wow. Yeah. Most... Now I can actually read for more than 15 minutes without losing my focus or falling asleep. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And from that, because it doesn't take a lot to really get that, oh, wow, there's a connection here, right? And yet still, so people know this, most people know this, and you still tolerate, <laughs> just to get back to the point, man, right? We're still tolerating the fact, and not even tolerating, we're participating and voting and grooming the people that for 50 years we look to to help us create decent environment for us. And I don't get, at what point are we going to say, okay, you people didn't work. <laughs> Let's try something else. Yeah. But no, because uh, we go back to that theater on the stage with the voting. Right. Well, yeah. And, you know, um, so, okay. Okay. <laughs> That was so far off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> this whole let's go back to this whole uh, concept of the meek. Um, yeah, the meek. Yeah, let's talk about the meek. The, the meek. Um. <laughs> the meek. Because I'm gonna say that the meek definitely owns this planet, and we're getting the kind of world we, you will get when the meek inherits the whole thing. Okay, but well, all right. If assuming that, that this is all correct, um, uh, okay. So, so the, the meek uh, are are in control, right? But yeah. do, but do they? The meek, really, but, the but, meek but, no, no. The meek has the power. Has the power. Well, if that's, they have the power, that's, that's, why? Yeah. Are are they in control as well? They haven't taken, no, they are, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't take control, though, right? They don't, so no. they don't, so they so don't with, actually. With all the power, with they, all the power, we, the meek, because I'm one of them, I'm one of the meek. I'm sitting here, I might not sound so fucking meek for, for an hour or a week, but usually I'm one of the meek. 
and okay. uh, and and we we are not taking control. It's our control. It's our power. We're con- continuously surrendering it. But it, but but most of the meek <laughs> do not realize that they have the power. So they follow along with whatever the strong. Uh, well, I guess that's what you would call them. Uh, the opposite of the meek. Uh, they whatever whatever the, the 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 strong have to say, the meek go along with. So they, even if That's they have, choice. even if they have the well, it's a choice, but it's through uh, mostly via ignorance too. Um, yeah, which that, that, that's what the dominant will do. They will well, lie and coerce and pressure, and they will even force and harm you. So so it all it all that power. It all comes back to, to one of my, my favorite sayings that the belief in authority is the root of all evil. Yes, of course. So because these people or most almost everybody, the meek, um believe in authority, then they follow along with whatever the authority says. So even if the meek do truly have the power they give it away yeah they hold the power but you cannot that's the thing about power though is you are a power generator see power is not something that there is there it's, it's a flow it's an energy so you you don't just surrender your power once you have to continuously all the time submit your power to somebody else with right. every action, it's not something that you do once and then it's just gone. No, I know, but it's ingrained in, in people's minds that yeah. that whatever you know, this little group of people that are the controllers <coughs> say to do that that's what we have to do. To be... Yeah, they are lying. <laughs> that's 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 how the system works. That's how the system <laughs> keeps, keeps everybody uh, in control. Hmm. But then you come back and, and okay, I, I might disconnect for five minutes again. I warn everybody if I'm going to disconnect. But um, it comes back to the same as rights, though, right? Because if you look at rights, for an individual human being, a right is an ability. It is something you can do. It's something you're able to do. What rights, the legal way is, is... Um, a restriction on the state and government and official power, the monopoly of violence, to stop you from doing that. Right. So a right consists of a restriction on the monopoly of power, but also an ability within the human being. Do you agree with that? I, I do. But uh, let, me, let, me, let me... So your ability... It comes back to your own ability. Right. But let, let me let me reference what's going uh being said over here in the chat for a second because this is this is my my exact <laughs> thought patterns uh, or the opposite of but uh anyway, so Chloe Chloe says that she would argue that many people do not believe in authority that the authority exists whether we believe in it or not, which is not true because you through your belief, give them the authority, the power, uh, the control. It, it it only exists, which it does exist, because of that belief in it. It's not it's it's not like a circular argument here. It's it's a straight it's a straight line. Well, that's they, because authority don't have a number in the periodic table, though. Uh, that's true. <laughs> it's not an element. It's not a physical commodity. So, of course, it doesn't exist without a belief in it because it is not physical. What exists and what is very physical is your abilities. And then these abilities of one few, many, and a lot of people created all these hierarchies and authorities and beliefs. It is, right. It's not real. It was made up by people that died a long time ago. Right. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to believe it. And 
And and and if everybody, well, the majority, I guess, uh, stopped believing in their authority, uh, then we could get rid of it. We, we, yeah. we could say that you're not there. Um, and, and again, Colleen's point now, it says, if a cop pulled you over tomorrow for speeding, he'd have the authority to give you a ticket, uh, which is true via the state, but That's the only the only, the only reason violence. The, the only reason I would believe in that authority is because he would kill me if I didn't. So yeah. <laughs> his 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 ability to shoot me through the head for doing the, the slightest thing in opposition to what he says I have to do, um that that's not a belief in his authority, it's a belief in the violence that will be perpetrated upon me, uh, should, should, so. <laughs> and, and because exactly, Rob, he has the power to give you the ticket because you surrender it to him, because we give him authority to exercise, authority to exercise the power. He is acting upon the monopoly of violence. Right. When a Absolutely. cop is doing that. He doesn't have a, a magical substance in his pockets or something tangible that will give him sudden right to give you a ticket. He only has that because a lot of people surrendered it to him and continuously surrendered to him. And that authority you can take away tomorrow. You it could. is not fixed in stone. If you, if you got enough of the people yes. to say yeah. this is wrong, this is not right. Yeah. You, you, your authority is fictitious, and and uh, we're taking it back from you. Maybe if this wasn't a world full of meek people, who did, maybe the meek, if the meek hadn't inherited the earth, this wouldn't have happened. Because I strongly believe that the meek already inherited the earth, and well, this is what we get from it. The, the meek have, invent, have inherited chains. And they're all they're all chained to the idea, the concept uh, that they must have a leader. They must be under control of somebody, some group of people, some some <laughs> that that it's that that kind of thing. That okay. So how that the so the question I guess would be, how do you break people of those beliefs? Well, you work with the abilities. This is all about the ability, right? It's it's truly it's the ability. Some of the abilities that you can't read up, but they are implicit in all the rights. It's the ability to learn. It's the ability to seek knowledge. It's the ability to connect and to understand. It's the ability to have uh, empathy as a higher guidance, and to not let yourself get fooled into weird ethical structures, but to actually believe in that. Uh, that moral core that being an empathic social creature gives you, all that will come and all those abilities to do that from the individual is going to build up a strong sense of, 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 of um, well, I'm guessing of acceptance of, of what is worth accepting and, and the sense and power to reject that which you don't want to accept. Because that is where tolerance goes to, right? Right. Well, that, that's uh, tolerance. tolerance. Tolerance should be a phase that leads you to either acceptance or rejection. And sometimes, well, you get an you accept something and then you reject it, right? <laughs> yeah, things that yeah. I mean, you may have believed for a long time or thought were good and correct, and and you find out more information and realize. Oh, I've been duped. I've been, I've been fooled all along. Uh, this 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 stuff is is nonsense, and it's not right mm -hmm. to accept that or tolerate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and and it's to grow, you know, to grow the ability to to believe yourself when you say when you hear the voice in you say that, that rulers. The whole idea that somebody is actually ruling over others. Right. And there's 
levels. The clarity of it, right? Lots, lots of levels of of uh, rulers too. I mean, you got uh, depending on where you are. Uh, you know, you got your your city, you got a mayor there, and you got your county, and there's county commissioners, and then you got your uh, state people running. You know, the governor, or whoever else there, and and of course the federal if you're like the U.S. So uh, yeah. all these people are rulers over you. And now, now with all this uh, corona nonsense, uh, they're trying to make it be a, a global, a big global ruler, which goes over and above uh, even your federal crap. So, um. <laughs> But truly, what Chloe says, yes, authority or dominance or somebody who wishes to exercise violence and force on others is always going to be there. The whole idea is that the more you work on your own abilities and your own knowledge and understanding, and the more you spread the awareness of what and how power works and the understanding of what kind of power you have and we all have and how power truly works is how you're going to fight it from growing out of control. Yeah. Because well, that's even... what you're looking at right now, the, the power and the monopoly of violence has grown completely out of control. Oh, yeah, to every aspect of your life. Like a fungus. I'm you telling brought... you, this shit is like fungi. Isn't that the... the more you brought the, the fungus, fungus among us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but as, as, as Moose Girl points out in there, finding out that you've been lied to is generally not a good feeling. And, and, and it, can, it can be life-changing, uh, which... Uh, in, in many cases, and hopefully it is life-changing. When you found out that everything you've ever learned uh, through, through everybody, through your schools, through your parents, uh, through, through your politicians or uh, churches or whatever, when you find out uh, everything they've ever told you is utter nonsense, you either push that down and live with, as your as your blog post pointed out, the cognitive dissonance of of two different realities working together, or you just say, "Wait a minute here, I've got to I've got to change the way I've been doing. I've got to stop being the meek. I've got to start being the strong." Um, mm -hmm. And and so when the meek become the strong, that's when they actually gain the power, right? I don't know. I would say then they're not meek no more. Right, they're not meek no more. Because yeah. as long as they're meek and accepting of of whatever the authority is telling them, then they don't how, actually have the power. They gave it away. Because I'm back to how did meekness and and tolerance and all this? How did this became virtues? Uh, That's I, because I don't know how it became a virtue. State church somebody started lying to people and saying no, you know. Well, you know, you know I, I, I think... You're better off if you suffer in silence. I think, the, you know, the, endure. The, the lying and the control and uh, all of that um, has been going on since cavemen were grunting at each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I, 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 you know, then once they eventually developed language uh, through whatever means, we're not even going to get into that. Um <laughs> Uh, th then they were able to more to articulate. Yes, I am in control of you. You will do as I say, and you will be the meek, uh, and you will believe in my authority because I have a bigger club than you do. See, I'm just back to the whole thing about okay. Let's look at that Christian God thing, right? And say, is that okay? Is those virtues? Is those, is that a thing I want to strive for? Well, you know, there are some. There are, there are, <laughs> Fucker, is he like an ideal to me? The, 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 I mean, there are some oh. good teachings, I would say, um, about you know really? how to stoning women and such. Well, there's a lot of bad. There's an awful lot of bad <laughs> in there, and yeah. and it, it's obviously written from a patriarchal point of view. Um, very violent <laughs> one. <laughs> very violent one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but then again. Uh, Men have been violent to women for a long, long time. Uh, yeah. And, and but I'm still going to be a little skeptical about what that book, with all that violence, uh, um, what that book tells me is virtues. I'm going to be a little skeptical. Right. 
Um, yeah. But but then, as you pointed out, the, the Christian God. But pr- prior to that Christianity coming about, uh, there was there was still that old book, and it was I think more violent towards well, pretty much everybody. Um, but especially, yeah, the I mean all of them. I mean, okay, then let's just say I, I don't just mean half the book. <laughs> I'm gonna go with if you if okay, this is how I feel about the whole new thing and old thing, right? Right. If if you really want to separate yourself so much from the Old Testament, then cut the book in half and don't associate with it, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. But then you, you lose the, you lose the whole creation myth. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You don't <laughs> shop between them. <laughs> uh, uh, I think Grimnir is God when he says what I agree with. Um, uh, it doesn't work like that, do it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't look at the whole. I don't look at that guy then from that book, and I go, "Wow, I want to be like him." But but then again, our, our topic, the meek, uh, about well, yeah. not necessarily, not, but a part of our discussion, the meek yeah. shall inherit the earth, and the meek have already inherited the earth. And the meek are already there, but that that comes from that book. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what I'm I'm saying. This is this is the shit we got into once the meek inherited the earth. Once once so many people on this planet felt so submissive, right? Right. And dormant. Dormant in such a way. I mean Yeah. Well and they I just do it through my own know. state. It's growing. I d I don't know. There's nothing in the Danish state that indicates it stopped growing. It has not. It's, it's growing like crazy. <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 I would assume the rest with your state. If you go in and look at the jar, it's not a fungus that stopped growing, right? No, no. No. It's feeding on sugar and it's thriving very well. Very well. It's yeah. uh, the beast is out of control at this point, <laughs> and um, and and the people are accepting of it. That's the thing. Is most yeah. pe- you know. <laughs> Maybe if the meek, you know, kind of got a little more sarcastic and just started going, eh, it's got no clothes on, man. Yeah, doesn't yep. work, this shit. That's I'm right. not saying go all violent and turn yourself into a fire, right? Don't throw gasoline and all that. I'm just saying maybe a little passive-aggressive, you know, humor about it. I, 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 I think I use that. I, um, that type of, well... I don't know if we kind of reached the tripping point of 70% of the planet laughing every time they see a prime minister say anything. That would be not a bad place to be, right? That'd be better. That'd be a lot better than <laughs> than 2% or whatever the hell it is now. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I mean, that could overturn things. But then, okay, let's assume that the meek, Stood up and said, "No more. We're done with. We're done with your insanity, with your rules, with your theft." Um, yeah, if they got some panace and some okay. spunk and uh, grew some balls. Yeah, let's say we did. That. Okay, let's we say left. we did that. Yeah. Well, yeah. so what's to stop the next group of morons um, taking control? Because they, okay, at this point in time, they all agree with the meek that have now become the strong, but. Hey, let's organize and make sure it stays this way. Now they are the ones in control. <laughs> because we, that's and that's the whole thing, right? Because we really, in our understanding and and common, you know, the collective ability to connect shit and think just a little bit uh, with a systematic way of thinking. All right. And a little bit of logic, you know, if we kind of opt the logic skill and skeptical thinking just a tad. I, that I, f- I think would stop us from declining back to the same old stupid thing. I find that most people really aren't into logic in in any way at all. <laughs> they, they accept what's fed to them, uh, and and what, regardless of uh, any logical uh, pattern to it at all. Well, then I only got one thing that will stop it from happening again. Then. Okay, go ahead. That's the seven-year-old rule. Seven-year-old rule? Yeah, if you can explain it to a group of seven-year-olds and make them understand and they think it's a good idea, then we can think about passing a law. 
Okay. So if you can convince seven years old so that understand so they can understand what you want everybody in you know in your country or the world to do, and they think it's a good idea to force everybody to do it, then let's look at it. Yeah, well, it gets to that force thing. I I know, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, that's you know that's the one system I can think of that would try to stop the violence if it's you ask the kids. Oh, I think I think it's, that's it's uh, not that. Violent, really. I think that's uh, a Richard Richard Feynman. You know Richard Feynman, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he said something basically like that: is that if you can't explain what you're thinking to a five-year-old, then you don't understand it yourself. No, and then it doesn't probably doesn't make any sense. Right. Then it's probably pointless and so complicated that it can only have been thought of about people with long educations. Yeah, but well, then then you got to consider uh, that education and what it's based upon because somebody made up some material that you're being educated about, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you have to if you have to study something in an institution for seven years to understand, and it and it's a governing thing that controls us all. Uh huh. Ah, nah, let's just reject it up front from then, right? Right, right. But but I, I, I don't know. I think it's about growing abilities. I think that is the key to uh, end the cycle of, of, uh, of just surrendering uh, constantly your power to everybody. I think it's the understanding that the power you have, you have that. You can't give it away. You can just pass it on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you can because, okay, um, you got a group of folk, and, and if you can uh, convince half of them that you're in control, they mm. they they will they will kind of trample over the other half, saying he's in control. We have to do what he says. Yeah, usually the longer you surrender your power to a given dominant party, the more they're going to, or the bigger the consequence of uh, redrawing that power is going to be. The more dominant has uh, relied on you and the more depending they are on you, the bigger the last you're going to get when you redraw it. Say that again? Well, the more you give an abuser power, right? Because this is what we're talking about. This is we have an abuser. It's called the the state or the rulers, and we are being abused. And the more you surrender your power to an abuser, the more the bigger the consequence, the more of a punishment you're going to get when you withdraw it. When you cut, when you no longer give that power, when you stop giving it to an abuser, they're going to lash back, right? Right. Hopefully. Yeah, and the the longer time and the more you surrender of yourself to that abuser, the chances are the bigger the smack it's going to get you. Like with us, we've been surrendering our power to this state shit for hundreds of years. Thousands. Yeah. So yeah. If, we, if we withdrew it now, just said cut it, everybody said, I, no, <laughs> stealing is not okay. I will from now on, I will not accept and I will not tolerate stealing. Right? right, right. If we we would get the biggest backlash, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, um, millions of people would get killed. Oh, easily. <laughs> <laughs> millions and millions of people would, uh, you know, uh, if if uh, somehow we were able to force the state out of existence, so people could live freely and be on their own, um, th then. During that transition between yeah. having state, being controlled by state, and uh, becoming free individuals, a lot of a lot of death is going to occur. Yeah. 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 Sadly. Yeah. Hopefully, what you would see is that hopefully, you know, the way you can prevent a lot of the violence, but then you would just buy people. But that would be to get the all the human beings that are the boots. You know the hammer of the force, right? And, and, and let me let, let me apologize to the more sensitive here. Um, <laughs> when, I, yeah, when, I, when, when I when I was talking about 
he was, you know, this this person that was in control. I said he. I said it as a generic term. I didn't mean that he. Uh, I, I well, I should have said I don't know, they it she. I, I, I mean, come on, you know what I was saying. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, no, it's well, yeah, not a like when, when people oh. say the people say man, they they don't mean. A male, they just mean the the human beings, man. <laughs> are you kidding me? Women are some, come on. Come on, uh, women, look at yourselves. We know it. <laughs> We're some of the most manipulative, controlling uh, people out there. We'd dominate everything if we could. And I'd let come you. On. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come on. No, I don't believe that. Women are do a dominating creatures too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, they are, but they're 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 sneakier about it, you know. Eh. Yeah, they are. They're more, women are more sneaky about it. They make you think you're actually in control and running things, and they're the ones that that actually they they have the reins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And True. how many women in their vocabulary will say we when they really mean you? I fall in that. Okay. Yeah, I fall in that category. All right. I say, oh, we could, uh, <laughs> why don't we go do this and this? <laughs> and then Flash looks at me and says, yeah, you mean me, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> He knows the tricks. He, he, he's, yeah. he's, 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 Why don't we go uh, empty that wheelbarrow I filled up so much that I can't really move it? Uh, oh, by we, you mean me then, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Clever. Yeah. So clever. Yes. Yeah. Because I really think that it comes to the abilities. I, I don't believe that... Uh, I don't believe that the meek can't transform into the loudmouth, annoying, obnoxious people. I wish Well, they many of the meek are already loudmouth, annoying, obnoxious people. But okay. but they're only that way to people that are not in control. Well, that's just being bullies, though. Well, <laughs> okay. I'll, ex <laughs> I'll accept that term for them as well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I don't know. I, I and I I stand by it. So, tolerance is self harm. It's tolerance not a is. good state to be in. Yeah, I, I if you're tolerating something that you really that doesn't feel right. You should either move towards accepting it, and let it go, and learn to live at peace with it, so you're not in a struggle with reality, right? Yeah. Or you should really reject it altogether and find your happiness through that. Yeah. Living in that where you are constantly restraining yourself to tolerate something that you cannot move to acceptance in, that is not good for anybody. That will destroy your spirit completely. It will. I agree. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that's going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully. Uh, with I hope that they endured and tolerated us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, don't forget to check out Flash Somebody at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern with uh, it's uh, In a Perfect World. Um, no shows on Wednesday. Thursday is dropping a coil with Flash, Rob, and Larry. Uh, assuming, Electrocute. Yeah. Anyway, check the schedule on reallybrittymedia.com and rlmradio.xyz and uh, see what else is there. And if you want to do a show, let me know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. An hour an hour does kind of cut off a good conversation, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> leaves, you, leaves you out there uh, wondering and thinking about it for yourself more than, you know, listening to our thoughts on the matter. Right? Yeah, I think our Christmas show where we just sit and read uh, cookie recipes, they're going to go, oh, an hour is way too long. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I've got some good recipes. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, yes. um, anything else? Enjoy autumn. And don't be meek. <laughs>
Fuck the meek. Unless unless you like to, I guess. I, uh, be meek if you want to, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, okay, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Oh, you too. No, I'm Bye. not talking. I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm just, we're still on. Oh, oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>